Let's see what happened during the last week in the world of turn-based RPGs and strategy games in terms of announcements and new releases. This bite-sized video is perfect to make a recap of all the relevant facts that happened and this week I have so much to show you, so let's go! Indie developer Artifact Studio, in partnership with Dear Villages, have released the third and final expansion of their hit RPG, The Dungeons of Nile Book, The Amulet of Chaos, with Back to the Futon, out now on PlayStation, Xbox platforms and Steam. Back to the Futon holds four brand new chapters, filled with shining guns and epic hijinks, and brings about the conclusion of their adventures in the weakest of all dungeons. Lords of Ravage is a turn-based dungeon crawler that offers you a unique perspective while allowing you to play as the final boss of the dungeon leading the forces of darkness. The game was created and published by Synthetic Domain, it was released on Steam on September 8, 2022. A month after the release, Synthetic Domain Teams is ready to roll out a new demo version. This update includes balanced reworks and improvements as well as bug fixes. You can find details list of changes in the patch note on Steam. War Tales, the medieval open world tactical RPG from publisher and developer Shiron Limited that has sold more than 250,000 copies, expands its border with a massive fifth region. War Tales largest early access update is here, featuring boundless opportunities for our mercenaries to chase, said Arno Richard, marketing director of Shiro Games. In addition to the extension of the main story, the city of Gosenberg offers new strategies, tactics and mechanics ready to be weaponized in the pursuit of power and wealth. Full Groom Publishing and Kala Gameworks announced that the story-driven sci-fi grand strategy title The Pegasus Expedition will launch as an early access title via Steam, GOG and Epic Game Store on October 20th. At launch, players will have access to the full main story campaign featuring around 20 hours of gameplay and will receive additional content updates, new features and quality of life changes based upon community feedbacks as part of the early access roadmap, including four brand new scenarios, each of which will function as a mini campaign that introduces surprising new settings and fresh twists to the 4x gameplay. Let's start with a free-to-play game released on the 11th called Warkind, developed by Major Games. Warkind is a turn-based 4x strategy game featuring players versus players and single-player mode with various races and heroes to choose from. Heroes will gain experience and level up, unlocking new skills. Free to play, so go and try it. Needless to say, the biggest news of the week, Lost Adelands by Ocean Drive Studios is an inspired turn-based tactics S RPG where players lead a group of mercenaries during the revolution against the Emperor. Lots of cool system and animations, to learn more you can watch my video review up on the right or go on my second channel for a walkthrough. Set in an alien world, Anders Core by Crescent is a deck building roguelike game where players must face alien fauna using the exploration deck to remove dangerous events and the battle deck to build powerful combos. If you are in deck building games, you can't miss this one on Steam. What if someone adds the fog of war inside chess? Indie dev Tall Troll Games did it with Dark Chess and the result looks awesome. Didn't try the game yet, to be honest, I'm not good at playing chess, but it fit even for casual gamers, various single player and competitive modes and fast paced mechanics on Steam. Didn't try it yet, but Alina of the Arena by Phoenix looks intriguing and features a sexy pixel art style, tactics combat, deck building mechanics and even dodges and knockback skills. Soon I will show you some gameplay on Steam. Sunday Gold by Become Studios is a point and click turn based RPG I tried a while ago with a consequent blast. A unique kind of a point and click with turns, featuring a combat system that involves strengths, weaknesses and skills, available on Steam now. 
Lots of you know Wakfu, but maybe not everyone knows about the spin-off called One More Gate released this week by Wakfu devs and Kama Studio. The game Let's Plays explore the world of 12, filled with famous characters from the MORPG, and it also adds some twists to the card-based battle mechanics on Steam. Craft Hero is a roguelike game that mixes roguelike tower defense and tower management mechanics, gather resources by day, build and recruit by noon, and defend your village by night. On Steam. Honestly, I don't know what to expect from Acretia Guardians of Leon by Ozak Inc. because it was never on my radar and was discovered just yesterday while I was looking for new releases. I'm not too much into chibi anime style, but the game itself looks solid in terms of gameplay mechanics, a sort of fire emblem mixed with Langrisser. There is even a free demo available so expect a gameplay video soon. We lost Adelon's Triangle Strategy was the other second big release of the week. Originally released on Switch in March 2022, now finally available on PC via Steam. Players can enjoy the intricate storyline and the turn-based statics battle system inside the pixelated HD 2D world. A little high selling price, but I know that in these cases there is no price that holds. Ozymandias Bronze Age Empire Sim by The Secret Games Company is a strategy 4x game where players compete with other kingdoms during the Bronze Age. Expand your borders, build cities and raise armies to defend and attack. The game features a single player mode and multiplayer mode with simultaneous turns. On Steam. This video ends here, let me know what you think about this news and releases in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting me through all my pages. Wish you the best. Ciao!